you know, I'm a really active fisherman, and especially when I'm fishing for fish like walleye, pike, bass, I love to throw crankbaits. There's a series of crankbaits that are on the market that are lipless. So they actually don't have a lip that extends out, but they have a contour, a concave groove on the front part or the head of the crankbait. And these crankbaits all sink. So they're designed to cast out, and you gotta retrieve them right away. The other thing that they have in common is they have rattles, and most of them have very loud rattles. Now, I find that these rattling crankbaits are one of the best lures to use in the middle of the day when you're trying to wake fish up. One of my favorite is the rattling wrap. And the way I fish this, especially if the weather's nasty or if the weather's extremely flat where the fish are inactive, I make a long cast and I rip it. That's the name, rip and wrap. I rip it back really fast to make that lure have a really tight wobble and the rattle really rattle loud. I'll fish the lipless crankbait in shallow water as shallow as two feet over thick weeds and I'll also fish it in deeper water by allowing it to sink down and retrieving it with a stop and go so that it's actually jigging and every time I snap that rod tip to jig it those rattles are even louder and it's literally like a dinner bell to track those bass to come and strike it. I find that when there's rough surface water conditions one of the best places to fish those rattling lures is close to man-made structure and structure that drops off very quickly from zero to about 15 feet. So I'll cast it around bridge abutments, old piers, riprap, which is rocks that have been dumped along the shoreline, and I'll fire that rip and wrap almost up onto the shore, onto the structure, and I'll start retrieving it immediately. The strikes are vicious, and normally you get a fish on right away if it strikes.